Yeah, thanks for the question. I think it's super insightful in that, yes, we have many options at, at any fork in the road that you need, right? Um, for me, the MBA was always on my mind because I, I, I was always interested in understanding the milieu in which we operate as mm -hmm. surgeons and physicians. And for me, that meant understanding industry, understanding hospital workings and pricing models and go to market. And these are the things that really energized me. They felt very uh, relevant to immediate action in life. And, you know, as a surgeon, I, I'm always very action oriented uh, in that way. And so that was my draw towards the MBA. Now, picking an MBA program is a completely different thing. I'm happy to mm -hmm. talk about if anybody on here is interested in thinking about that path, because I think you have to be very deliberate and intentional about that and careful about what you're trying to get out of an MBA. Because I always say, you know, you can't be a doctor without an MD. You can be a business person without an MBA. Sure. And so why are you getting it? And what's your, what are you hoping to get out of it? And uh, intentionality is very important with the MBA. Uh, and for me, you know, I was clear about that before I went in and, and I was able to go in with the right mindset and then um, mm. attack it the way that I wanted to. And now I'm very happy about it. But, you know, that, can, that doesn't always have to work out that way for that. Uh, in terms of the PhD or what was the other option that you wanted to consider? Um, or a, a master's of science or, you know, more pursuing that scientific route yeah. um, in, the, in the technology. Yeah, that can be very exciting for someone who's really excited about being a very technical person, who's excited about actually building out the software or whatever te mm -hmm. technologies you're looking at. So I think it kind of goes back to having some self-knowledge about yourself and understanding what makes you tick and where you can thrive. And hopefully the Venn diagram, uh, you know, the sweet spot is that overlap of those two things. Mm -hmm. And so I think a lot of us in, in medicine are very, um, especially as medical students, are, are very you know, very intellectual, very um, strong work ethic and things like this. So we can thrive anywhere we go. But sure. the question is, do you have the self-knowledge to know uh, what's going to be what's going to be best for you? And sure. so that's why these options become very important. It's not like you can't take the GMAT and go and get a PhD. It's not like you can't or, or get an MBA or you can't get you can't take the um, whatever the other exam is and, and go get a PhD or a master's. Mm -hmm. So it's not about ability, it's about self-knowledge. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.